Hi everyone, welcome to Faith Friday. My name is Father Sam Kachuba. I'm standing in my parish, St. Pius X, in our church building, which is currently under construction. We're doing some renovations. So you can see all around me, there are no pews. There's no floor. I'm just standing on bare concrete. We took out all the pews. We took out the carpet. The carpet was the same age as me, so it was pretty nasty. Um, and then the tile floor underneath the tile really needed to come out. Part of the reason the tile needed to come out was it was ugly, but the other reason the tile needed to come out was it had asbestos in it, and asbestos is bad. We're not allowed to have that. So we got rid of all of that. Now, here's the thing. When we did that, I was nervous. I was nervous, first of all, when we pulled up the carpet that we were going to find asbestos in the tiles. I didn't want that to happen. I was hoping there was some way we could avoid that. But there wasn't. We had to address it. But now that we've addressed it, there's something else. Now that we've addressed it, we can see more clearly in the floor some of the problems, some of the issues that have come up. We can see more clearly in this floor where there are cracks, where there are bumps, where there, there are things that need to get smoothed out and fixed. But it took removing the carpet, removing those tiles to help us to see what really has to happen. In our hearts, in our souls, in our spiritual life, there are things that need to be removed so that we can get at the real wound that we carry. There are things that we need to take out so that God can get in and really do his work. It can be kind of scary sometimes, but we have to get rid of the poison. We have to get rid of the toxins that are in our lives. If you've ever seen somebody go on a cleanse diet, what's happening? Well, whatever it is that they're taking for that cleanse is actually cleaning their gut. It's getting rid of all the stuff that they haven't been properly digesting. It's helping them to get rid of those toxic things that are in them so that they can really become healthy. In the same way in our spiritual lives, we've got to be willing to do that challenging work to get at the stuff that's in there that we haven't even always been aware of. But that way, the real work of repair and restoration can happen. And this is what God wants to do in your heart and in mine. He wants to restore and repair what is broken, what is wounded, what is no longer doing its job. He wants to get in there. And so he needs our permission. He needs our permission to strip away the bad habits. He needs our permission to strip away the relationships that are destructive and toxic for us. He needs our permission to go in and take out those sins that pile up. Because all of it wounds us, and it hides. We get these, these wounds hidden under these different masks and these different problems. But all God wants to do is smooth it out and heal it. So now that this floor behind me is exposed, we can see the work that needs to be done. And now we can get started. Now we can get started on the really important work of restoring, of refinishing, of making better and even more beautiful than before what was already beautiful and good. See, our sin and those wounds that we carry, they don't define us. That doesn't make you good or bad. It just means that this is something that you're hanging on to, something that is in your heart, in your life. And so, let God in. Let him do that work that pulls up what is bad, what is broken, so that he can get in and do the tough work of restoring of refurbishing, of rebuilding you into the creation that he made you to be. God bless you.